everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Nene, just in time. Say hey, yo. I'm here with what I eat in a day plus workout video. However, technically the workout you're going to see is from today. And then the what I eat is from the previous day. Just because when I went to go film the actual workout from when I actually filmed this video, there's just way too many people. I started going to the gym in the evening times now because it just works out better for my schedule to get stuff done throughout the day while Kale's away and then going to the gym in the evening. But I'm not really comfortable filming with that many people around. You playing with Aura? I'm not really comfortable filming around that many people. So I went to the gym this morning, just me and Navy, and I filmed that workout for you guys. So if you're wondering why I'm going to be wearing different outfit, that's technically because they aren't on the same day. <laughs> Say okay, love you. You said it. You said love you. <laughs> no way. I can't believe I got that on camera for you guys and for myself. Can you say it again? May I have a kiss? Thank you so much. Breakfast is going to be something super simple and quick just because I'm not really a breakfast person. I did try to start eating earlier like before Kale goes to school but I just don't like eating that early in the mornings. And I'm trying to eat more frequently because like before I wouldn't eat till 3 in the afternoon and I would just shove like 4 large meals within like 4 hours and I was way over eating then. So <laughs> we're starting a little bit earlier. This is after Kale has gone to school and maybe and I have had some time to just kind of chill out and get some things cleaned up. I like a thick oatmeal. I kind of doctor it up a bit to our liking, but we have our brown sugar oatmeal. And then I like to add a half a banana to mine and I give Navy the other half. And then I add just like a few chocolate chips. And I like crunchy peanut butter in mine. Sometimes if I have it on hand, I like to do cookie butter. If you never had cookie butter, then you are really missing out on life. But cookie butter and oatmeal is delicious. But we're doing crunchy peanut butter. Navy is having creamy peanut butter, not crunchy. And I gave her like four chocolate chips because she was going to get extremely angry with me if I didn't give her any. And I ended up cutting the other half for Navy and then I kicked myself in the foot for that because for some reason my child will not eat a banana unless it's whole from the peel. If I take it out of the peel or I cut it up she literally won't eat it. I have to hand feed it to her like right from the peel. Or then she just looks at it like it's a foreign object and won't touch it. So she didn't even eat the banana that I cut up for her, but she ate the rest that was in the peel. Then I just mix it all up. It's not the most aesthetically pleasing meal. Again, I like really thick oatmeal. If you like your oatmeal runny, then that's how you like it. But this is how I like it. And Navy goes to town on oatmeal. I mean, this is kind of like our favorite breakfast. This is what we eat the most frequently. And she is obsessed. With my breakfast, I am having some fiber from Bellway. This is super fiber plus fruit and lemon lime flavor. I was really nervous to start this just because I've tried some in the past and they were super grassy and dirty tasting and I could not get onto it. But this is actually pretty good. It has a very slight lemon lime flavor. I mean, it's not in your face, but it tastes just enough so it doesn't feel like that kind of grassiness. I actually do really like it. I typically drink it in the mornings with my breakfast and in the afternoons with my lunch. I've been taking this for about two weeks now. Talk about regulating your system. I am definitely going more frequently. Helps me not look as bloated, which is really nice because I tend to eat a lot of starches and carbs, which typically tend to bloat me. So now I'm no longer looking eight months pregnant. 
Now it's time for lunch, which is kind of going to be like a second breakfast because I was really in the mood for a breakfast sandwich, which wasn't actually what I was planning on having this day. But sometimes you got to go with your cravings, girl. I'm on my period and I was not about to disappoint myself and put myself into a more depressive state because I didn't give my body what she wanted at that exact point in time. So two everything bagels in the toaster, one for me and one for Navy. I made myself a fried egg because that's really the only way I will eat an egg. And then I made Navy a scrambled egg seasoned both of them with salt pepper garlic powder and onion powder if you're wondering kale i packed him two sandwiches for lunch he had a mix of blackberries strawberries and kiwi and some pretzels for his lunch and a granola bar i wanted an avocado so bad with my breakfast sandwich i always do but girl i tried myself with that it was not ready to go at all and i don't know why i continued to cut in it but I did. I got what I could out of it, which was not much. I cook my oven in the bacon. Okay, what? No, I said that totally backwards. I cook my bacon in the oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit into my liking. I, girl, I can't believe I just did that. Anyway, moving on, I gave both Navy and I blackberries and strawberries. I gave Kale the last kiwi because he's the most obsessed with kiwi or else we also would have had one. And I gave her a little strip of bacon. I did make extra bacon for Kale that he could snack on when he got home from school because bacon has no carbs and it's something that he can have without insulin. And then I poured myself another cup of fiber and also got myself some water if you're curious. I drink about a gallon or so of water a day. I'm including this kind of into it since it is water based. But before this, I drank like pure water at least a gallon or more a day. Now, ideally, you'd have more avocado with a sandwich and not an overcooked egg like I did because for some reason, every time I film, I cannot make my eggs properly for you guys. And in case if you were wondering to take your birth control today, here's a little daily reminder to do so because what the heck? What was that for? Was that necessary? I don't think it was. No, it wasn't. Was that necessary? No. So I did two forms of exercise, which technically I normally do anyways, but usually my first form of exercise is trying to keep the house clean, but I didn't really feel like doing that on this day and it was really nice outside. So Navy and I went for just a little walk before we had to go get Bubba from school. Okay, so after I pick Kale up from school, it's time to get ready for the gym. I'm gonna get my pre-workout and stuff ready to go. This is what I'm currently taking. Mommy. 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 saying bye bye to all the cars huh bye bye, bye, -bye. Like I said, this workout was filmed on a different day. Thus mine and Navy's clothes are different, but I have to be honest, this workout is kind of half-assed. It was not my best and I knew that going in from the minute I heard my alarm go off on this morning because I was really fighting myself to get out of bed. I was so exhausted and I didn't want to do anything. And then I fought myself going to the gym. I was like, I don't need to go. I don't need to do this. And then I was like, Latoya, you got to push yourself sometimes. Some days I'm like, it's okay. You can rest. You definitely need it. And then other days I know when I'm just trying to like give up and I don't end up doing things. So I really fought myself to get here. And then I was like, I can't show them this because it's not really a good representation of what I do at the gym. But then I was like, why can't I show them? Like, why do I have to only show things that seem perfect? And I think that on social media, 
like people tend to show only the best things and it's not that this workout is terrible it's just not my best and I only did like four exercises and I did them really slowly paced like I was sweating but not really I was just trying to keep my heart rate up for my apple watch but not every day in my fitness journey or just any journey in life really is going to be perfect or the best like some days are not going to measure up to maybe what you had originally thought and that's okay so I wanted to show you guys that even though I wasn't feeling like being there and I wasn't in my tip-top shape of working out I still went and I feel like anything is better than nothing. And I may have only done a couple exercises, but I did four sets of each of those exercises, 10 reps each. And I did 25 minutes of cardio and I stretched really, really well. And when I left, I felt better. Still tired, but better. Also, I was really proud of myself afterwards because I knew that I could have just spent like the day doing absolutely nothing and there's nothing wrong with that like I said because some days I am like that because I know I really need it and I need to listen to my body but this was not one of those days this day was just me trying to make excuses to not do things and I didn't want to fall back into that so I pushed myself and I'm proud of myself and this was kind of like my friendly reminder to you that whatever you can give is good enough and i hope that you know that just because you don't give 150 percent all the time doesn't mean that you didn't do a good job it's the small things that lead up to the really big things so if you haven't told yourself today or nobody else has told you you look phenomenal i am so incredibly proud of you and you are doing an amazing job Now it's time for dinner and I'm kind of making everybody their own thing but yet the same thing. I wanted a taco bowl so I started cooking up some corn in the stove with salt, pepper, garlic powder, and paprika. And then I put some shredded lettuce in a bowl. Navy had everything I'm having but in a quesadilla and Kale had everything I'm having except for the red beans and rice. He had meat but uh, Navy and I don't eat meat so he had meat in place of that and he had his in a taco shell. So I cooked up some corn for all of us and this is just the red beans and rice that I'm using. I'm cheating is what it is. Didn't want to make it myself. I'm not even like I had the time and I chose not to make that time to do it and just cook this for 90 seconds. So that's what I did and we love it. I put it in the bowl with the lettuce and then I put in my corn and then I added some cheese. Kale had like barely any cheese because I don't know how he's my child and doesn't like cheese. But Navy and I are cheese fanatics. So we had quite a bit of cheese on our meals. And like I said, hers was a quesadilla and then Kale's was just in a taco shell. But he loves lettuce and stuff. If I had it, I would have added like bell peppers and red onion with the corn. Because actually both kids like those vegetables as well. Or, well, technically bell peppers are fruit. But y'all know what I'm saying. We all love it here. But I didn't have any, so didn't put any in. And plus, you know, groceries are expensive. So I was just trying to use up what we had and make it into a meal. And we all cleaned our plate, so it was good to go. To get some more protein in, I do end up having a protein shake. I really like the ISO 100 Fruity Pebbles flavor. It has 25 grams of protein, one gram of carbs. So it's actually really good for Kale to have as a snack as well. If he just has it with water, he can drink this without having to take insulin. But I do mine with half vanilla almond milk and half water just because I'm not a fan of the whole water taste, but this is really good. That's gonna be it for this what I eat in a day. Your girl has lost 17 pounds, 23 more to go. I obviously don't count calories or macros. This is what works for me. I intuitively eat and I don't cut things out of my diet that you know I genuinely like and I didn't show it here because I was on FaceTime but I did have a like fourth a cup of chocolate and a cup of popcorn to end my night because I wanted to have a little treat to myself while I watch a show so I did I don't want a journey that I'll despise I want something that you know I can fulfill and be happy while doing it thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one bye guys